Hey everybody, this is Chrissy with Tackling the Giants, and I'm going to do a part four on Took the Mark, Now What? It's going to just be clarifications and warnings. I wasn't initially planning on doing a part four, but um, I feel like I, I need to. I just want to make some clarifications and give some warnings on the information that I went over with my parts one through three. So um, here's an offering of clarification and warnings. I want to clarify my message of hope to those who took what many, including myself, believe to be the mark. This is a very serious situation, and only God knows the outcome. There are many unknowns, such as, is one um, count as the mark, or do you need to take more, or is there something more to come? There's just so many unknowns at this point that, you know, no one knows 100% anything except for God. If someone asks you hope, you are to be there to give them an answer. First Peter 3.15 says, Sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. However, we have to we have been warned about the seriousness of the mark. Therefore, I want to clarify my prior videos. I don't want anyone taking what I had said prior lightly. My fear, I guess, is that if I offer hope to those who have taken it, that people are going to take it lightly and think that it's okay to take it and then later repent. And that's just not the case. Okay, that's just not the case. Um, so th that's my very clear warning, and I'm going to go over, um, you know, why. Real quickly, this is going to be a quick video. Um, I believe that and just clarify that. So repentance, God knows your decisions before you make them. Therefore, if God knew that you would have the heart to repent, he could have allowed you to have taken a placebo or nullified the liquid to where it's, you know, it has no, um, it doesn't do anything. It's basically void, okay? The verses that I quoted in the prior videos show that people who don't die of the plagues are unrepentant. Throughout Scripture, God tells us to turn to Him, and He will heal us. Therefore, I believe there's hope. When someone asks for hope, I do not believe it's up to us to condemn them. Condemn them. Our God can do anything. So my point here is if God knew that you were going to have a repentant heart and you were going to turn back to Him, then God could have, you know, made that liquid void. He could have um, had it be a placebo. Nothing is above Him to protect you. Scripture says that He will have mercy on who He will have mercy and um, I believe that's because, you know, he knows your heart and he knows your decisions before you make them. So, you know, he can protect people um, even in their stubbornness because he knows their outcome in the future. So this does not mean that you can go and you can, you know, out and right just take something and say, OK, you know what, I'm just going to take it to continue on, you know, to have ease in my life. And then um, I'll just repent later because that's not the way that it works. OK, um, we're warned against that. So physical punishment in my part three video, some may have taken my third video to mean that there is no physical punishment. I want to make clear that I believe there are literal meanings as well as spiritual or symbolic meanings. Some scripture has dual meanings. It could be both and it can even be fulfilled multiple times within different amounts of years, okay, and generations. And um, <clears throat> we clearly see there's been physical punishment for people who have sinned. Examples include the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. And know it's fled upon the earth. This is not to be taken lightly at all. I'm just trying to show those who repent that there can be hope for them if they are allowed the fire and the brimstone symbolically to refine them, as Scripture says, which is the Word of God. Okay? Now is the time. If you choose this path, now is the time. And if you do, God knew before you chose to make that decision of repentance that you would. There's going to be a lot of people who choose not to repent. Okay? Okay? And um, so this offer is not for everybody. I'm not the one who, you know, is is making the offer. <laughs> it's God in his word that gives us the offer of repentance. But he knows who are his and he knows who are going to turn back to him with their whole heart and seek him. And this is just to tell those people who, you know, have that, you know, God knew your decision ahead of time and that there is potential hope. You know, I don't want anyone to ever be without hope. And I don't believe that it's our place to condemn anyone and tell them your hope is lost. It's gone. OK, so this is just clarification. I just wanted I just felt like um, there was a chance that some people might have taken my words lightly and, um, you know, thought, oh, OK, you know, I can just go and get it. That's my fear. And I just wanted to clarify that because that's not the case at all. OK, so um, I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.